Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my makeup and it's so early right now. It's literally 9 a.m. I'm going to try a different style of makeup today. I don't know if it's going to turn out good, but just washed my face with my super food cleanser. Now my face is super dry and clean. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I have like breakouts over here, but it's whatever. I'm gonna use my Laneige toner. Oh my god, my stomach's growling. If you could hear my stomach growling, just ignore it. I don't like this much. I don't know if you can see. And I just like had it onto my face. And then what I use after my toner is my serum. This is from Biosans. I used it so much that like the label is like coming off, but um, it's the squalene phyto retinol serum This one I literally just pump it like once or twice This Let me pat this one too I'm sorry if this video is awkward I haven't filmed in quite a while I've been taking long breaks Next time I'm gonna put on my moisturizer This is the Laneige water bank moisture cream this one I'm also starting to run out. So I have a new box. It's just that the packaging is different. Like, I used to like this packaging, but I don't think they sell this packaging anymore. And I hear like a motorcycle sound or something. Yeah, this one I just dab it on everywhere. And this one I spread it in. Oh my god. I just feel like it's going like so bad. Yeah, today I wanted to try a different type of makeup. I want something to like emphasize my cat eyes a little bit more. I don't know if they'll turn out good or not. I haven't really been doing makeup in a while. I've just been trying to let my skin breathe. And then after that, I go in with my Biosans Vitamin C Rose Oil. This one I also just do like two drops. Yeah, I've been watching other YouTubers recently doing their makeup videos and their skin looks so glowy and dewy when they do it, but mine does not turn out like that. I don't know if it's because like my products aren't as intense or something, but I feel like when I pack on too much moisturizer on my skin, my skin gets like super f***ed up. And that's basically all I do for my skincare these days. I don't use like any retinols, I don't use benzoyl peroxide or anything. I have these like bluish gray color contacts, I'm just gonna pop these in and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just put my contacts on and before I start my makeup, I'd also just like to point out that I have not done my makeup in a while. Just because I feel like when I do my makeup, my skin breaks out, but we'll see what happens. Today I'm gonna start off though by just using my lip balm before I start my makeup. This is my Burt's Bees pomegranate just to keep my lips moisturized. Now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer or something. Oh wait, no, what's it called? Yeah, the Pro Filter Foundation. This is in the shade 170. It says to shake well. Yeah, I also bought a lot of Fenty products when I was, well not a lot, but just like two more when I was in New York. And I wanna try them out today. It's just, I don't know if it'll look right. <laughs> Because one of them is a contour, like, mash stick, and I've never used that before in my life, so I don't know. I'm just going to do, like, two pumps of it. Oops. I don't know if I should use my fingers first, just, like, lather it on. Yeah, these days, I don't know. I feel like sometimes foundation feels really heavy where it doesn't apply right. Sometimes I don't like wearing it. Yeah, now I'm just using my beauty blender to go over the foundation and blend everything in. My eyesight's so bad, I have to hold this like handheld mirror, even though there's like a bandaid right in the front of me. Oh my god, guys. I don't know if you saw that video that I did with my sister, but that video, I look back on it, it's so funny. I let her try to do my makeup, but oh my god. There is some areas of my skin that were like not even blended where I was like laughing. And I was like, oh my god. Because I remember I was trying to film like TikToks and then I look over at my mouth area and then my mouth is like not blended. It's like a patch of like color. So I was like, oh my god, what is that? 
Yeah, go. super funny. Okay. Oof, I don't know. I honestly don't know, know if it looks right, but whatever. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. This is my Born This Way concealer in the shade Snow. I'm gonna just put it on the area so I have like acne and like also underneath my eyes. But yeah, that was another thing is my sister when she's doing the makeup. She uses concealer on her face rather than like foundation. But when she was trying to do it for me, it was like very different. Especially because my concealer is a bit lighter. But overall, I was like, oh my god, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not sure if my skin is gonna break out or not from this. <laughs> Probably will, but whatever. Oh my god, I just realized I was gonna film a TikTok during this. It's fine, it's fine. I could do it next time. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my sponge again. I'm just gonna go over these areas. Let me also just use my finger to blend out some of this. I don't know if I put too much on my face. What else happened recently? Well, Blackpink released an album. Their songs are so good. I was like listening to it nonstop. I was like, oh my god. I feel like the song that I really like though is Hard to Love and Tally. Those are a vibe. Okay, what the hell? I don't know if you can see, but I put concealer here and it's really not covering up this back. I don't know. Ugh, whatever. My only fear for makeup is looking like Patchy and cakey. It's like my fear. Okay, I think I'm looking blended. I don't know, I can't really tell. Oh my god, I'm going too hard. Let me just blend it into my hairline a little bit. Yeah, and I'm sitting down today. I just brought my chair into the restroom just because I didn't want to stay out for the whole video. Yeah, I really don't have much to talk about in this video today because, like, I didn't really do anything. No, I think I'm gonna visit my brother tomorrow, though, and eat dinner with him. I still don't think I covered, but whatever. It's gotten to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm over it. I don't know if my face looks all done or whatever, but I'm just gonna go in with my powder now. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in Lavender. And then I'm gonna just apply it on my face. You can't see that well because uh, I can't hold this thing on my mini mirror at the same time, so I, I don't care. I'm just gonna apply it like this and hope for the best. Yeah, hopefully the makeup turns out good. I don't know why, but recently I've just been seeing a lot of TikTok makeup videos where I'm like, oh my god, like my makeup looks really good. I wanted to try some. My makeup skills are not 100%. That's my little disclaimer. I don't have the best skills. My sister is like really good, but I am like, mine's like average, I would say. It's not good, but it's also not bad. Yeah, I'm just applying the powder like everywhere. Yeah, and my hairstyle, I've been trying my hair a lot more recently. I'm trying to wait for it to grow longer. But I've been doing these like hair tie colors for a long time. I don't know if they do this. I think they add like a little bit of concealer like at the top right there just to make it look more snatched <laughs> when I literally don't know. But let me just see what happens. I blend it out. Oh my god. I don't know if I got concealer in my eyebrow. <laughs> Whatever. Just my eyebrows look weird. I can't talk. No, I think it looks normal. I was trying to put my eyebrows recently again, but like, oh my god, my eyebrows are so thick where it's like one false pluck and like the whole shape gets f***ed up, so I just like didn't touch it. They're very intense already where it's like, if I accidentally pluck something, the whole thing gets f***ed up. That's not a good look. That's something that I learned from my mom. She told me not to pluck my eyebrows ever. So I think she did it back then and like something about it growing back. It's like a slow process. If it's like, if you f*** up, it, you're done. I think that's good enough for my powder. I tried doing it everywhere, but I don't know. I'm just gonna look at the makeup again on my phone, just to get a feel of how it's supposed to go, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Still don't know exactly how I'm gonna do the makeup. It's kind of similar to how I already do it. It's just a little different, but I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This palette <laughs> broke recently. I don't know how, but 
this part literally just popped off like I don't know I don't know if it's like a manufacturing thing and I just can't get it back in so I I don't touch it anymore the pot's just been through a lot I would say anyways I'm gonna go in with the color puree which is this one that my thumb's right underneath don't want to lift up the pot too much or else it's gonna like really shatter or something. I'm just gonna go in with that color and then apply it to my eye. I just don't know if the color is too dark or not already. Oh my god. Okay, um, I should be doing one eye. Okay, next side. Let me try to do the same thing. So hard. I, I just don't know. Like, I'm not a makeup expert. I just should wing it. And if it looks bad, then it's bad. But that's a learning experience. <laughs> okay, so I just did the top part. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Honestly, I can't tell. Oh my god. I almost broke on me again. Let me go in with the darker color now. I was gonna use Summer Yum. And, oh my god, this palette really keeps breaking. Too Faced, if you're watching this. How the f do you fix this or send me a new one? Because one day it just popped out. I know that that's a defect because I saw reviews on some other people saying that that happened to them. But anyways, I want to take the very furthest color right here, the dark brown called Charmed, I'm sure. And I'm going to try using that as like, for like a darker color on my eye. But first, before that, before I forget, let me just go back with Puree and like bring the color back down to into my lower eye so that everything makes sense. I don't know if I'm blocking, sorry. Okay, so, like I was saying, I'm gonna take this color on the very far right, which is Charmed, I'm sure, and then try putting it onto my top outer corner over here. Wait, do I want to do that one? Actually, no, no, I don't think I should do that one. I'm gonna take Summer Yum, just this like red color next to Puree, reddish color, and then I'm just gonna put it in my outer corner. It even just got my sponge and then like dab some of this. Okay, so after I did that, I'm gonna take my angled brush and I've never used this before in my life. And then I'm gonna go in with Charmed I'm sure, which is on the very edge right here, which is the dark brown. And I'm gonna try to attempt to do some type of liner on my eye, but I don't know if it's gonna work because I've really never done this before. Mm-hmm. That's all I can say. I don't know how to do this. I, just, I literally don't know how to do this. Maybe fix this in my eye, like that. And just add some more. Whatever, life's all about mistakes. It doesn't have to look perfect. Let me just take my smaller brush again and then try to attempt to clean it up because I don't know what's happening. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, but I tried my best. It's all that matters. I mean, I've done better, but whatever. It looks good enough. So off camera, I just tried using this angled tipped brush. I don't know what type of brush this is. And I tried using it underneath my Ego saw, but let me just try doing it again to see if it's like actually doing anything. You know what, yeah, I guess it is working. Yeah, I guess that's good. Okay, now let me see what else I could do with this. It kind of looks plain. Let me test out these colors first before I do anything. Okay. Whoa, this palette's like I freak out. So you know what? There's this color nectar right here. It's more on the like bright side. I'm just gonna try putting it like where my egg is all is just to see what happens, but I don't know. Okay, whatever. Now I'm gonna take Luscious, which is this one, and it has kind of a shimmer. Let me try putting it on top of my eyelids just to see, because at this point there's nothing to lose. You know, I don't know if that did anything, but I think this is good enough for my eyes. Let me just double check. Looks good enough. Let me try though, doing this flat angle brush again. I'm trying to add like another thing under here. Cause you know that sometimes I do that. I don't know how. 
<sighs> I don't care. That should be good enough for now. I think it looks normal. I just don't know. Oh, and I got this Fenty matchstick and I wanted to try it. It's just like, I'm scared because like, I've never contoured before, so I don't know if it's gonna look f***ed up if I try doing that. I mean, I could try doing a little bit on my nose, but like, oh my god. It's just that I don't know. I don't know how to use it. So I know that when you contour, you do like this. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try blending this out. I don't know if I should be using my sponge or what. Oh my god, guys, I should not have used that. It's not looking right. <laughs> okay, now I know not to use a product until I've seen it physically in demonstration by my sister. Okay, that was a good test. That was a good test. I'm gonna put this away though now. I'm gonna keep it till my sister comes back so that she can teach me how to use it. Okay, so that was a bust with the contour stick. This is the other product that I got, which is the Fenty, the Fenty Cream Blush. Hopefully this looks normal, because I've never tried this one out yet. The color looks like this. I just don't know how to apply this though, because I usually don't do blush. But we will see, we will see. I'm gonna get my huge brush. I'm gonna apply this, but I'm scared. I don't know if it's gonna turn normal. It looks nice, I think. Let's do some little dabs over there too. Now for the final step, I'm just gonna go in with my eyeliner, my water, oh no, my roller liner, Benefit eyeliner. And this is a brown color. I'm just gonna use this to highlight my molds. So let me do the one underneath my eyebrow. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it and then put it on the one that's on my cheek. There you go, like that. That should be good enough. This is the final look, I'm pretty sure. I'll go change my top and then show you guys what I look like, but yeah, like, I really didn't do much. Like, I think it kind of looks normal, but I'll change and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys like this video and I hope God, something's flying around in the house. I hope my makeup looks normal on camera. I literally can't tell. But I hope this video was entertaining enough. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.